What up, Margaret Girls? I am back with another video. As you know, I really ran myself to Classic Jump. Uh, again, I may change that. Ah, I just can't find a name. You know, I do pick up a name, I just don't stick with it. So, we do have any suggestions for a name in the comments down below because I can't stick with one. I'm not good at coming up with that stuff. So, if you do have any ideas for the Margaret Bean channel, Maybe in the comments down below. I could name it after my favorite manga, yes. Hmm. Could name it after Dragon Ball. Tribute Link Kill Toyama, but Dragon Ball is my favorite series. But I did get into it just last year, I think. Or was it two years ago? Anyway. I just, I don't know what to call it. Yeah, um, I'm reviewing a new series called Astro Royale, which chapter 2 comes out tomorrow. Yeah, the second chapter releases tomorrow. I could review it because of the internet problems. So that's why I review it today. The internet's still shit. So it was tricky to get through all of it because of the, how slow the internet is. But, anyway, this is a special manga because this is written by Mark New. A relatively a very a seasoned author, but but is new to jump. He's a new guy to jump, but not a new not a new newbie. This is the first time. This is is actually his first time working at jump. And I talk about the author Kamra Kui, author of Tokyo Revengers. Yes, the author of a manga that's so popular, Kodansha's Weekly Shonen Magazine. Let's jump ship to Heart of the Pump, excuse the pun, but not intended, you know, to show the jump. I don't know why. Did, was Kui fed up with Jodanjo? Or wanted to try something different? You know, try a different company for once. Since he's always been published stuff at the Weekly Shoulder magazine for the past few years. In fact, actually, he did try to post publish what his first work in Shoulder Jump. But it was subjective because of his art style. <laughs> well, he had the last laugh of Great Doggy Avengers. And it gave me a job a second chance because this is actually could be a very unique series if it doesn't get cancelled. It's too early to tell, really too early because literally chapter 2 debuts tomorrow. So who knows how long this is going to last, but hey, this time I'm going to stick through it. Also, we should do Jump Mark on the Manga Plus app, hopefully. But of course, it would take me a little while to find the thumbnails. I could just re download them from the you know, internet and stuff. But, you know. So, yeah. Ashley Royale is a new manga series by Kevin Kuri, which looks exactly like Griffey manga. Yeah, shocking, because he did do a Griffey manga with Tokyo Avengers, but. That's why it has more different concept than Avengers. Now, I'm not very familiar, all that familiar with Tokyo Avengers. I've seen only a few episodes of the anime, but that's all. So I'm not entirely familiar with the premise. A lot of people criticize his art style later down the line because of how he drew the next. I mean, yeah, if you're a big fan of his art and know how he changed, sometimes change it. Yeah, you would be understandable, but sometimes my garments do change the art over time because it shows how they improve the craft. Personally, me, I don't really care if they have long necks or something. I'm not interested to see how good it is. So, yeah. If you want to give it a read, you can read it on Manga Plus and Shonen Jump app. This is published in the main magazine of Weekly Shonen Jump. So this is a main jump series, not any of the other jump sit magazines, which is actually pretty cool. I know, but they only last that long. But this is Market Plus, the Jump Plus series, Kindergarten Wars is still ongoing. Around past 70 chapters or so now. Definitely a success, and it's definitely going to be getting anime sometime in the future. So, what it does, I'm going to look for arcs and reread the manga just for a big review. 
I'll be looking forward to that someday, even though it's actually going out of a... Even though I passed 70 chapters, it can still get cancelled. We'll just have to wait and see. Then again, YouTubers pretty previous work that lasted over 100 chapters did get an anime. Yeah, when you think about it, YouTuber, the author, did I have had a previous success in Jump. And yet, no anime. Why is that? Uh, I'll go search up Ox for that one and uh, give it a read for this channel. So, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm really catching up. I'm going to try again. I get plan to, but hopefully, I'll be able to catch up to keep reviewing um, this manga. Anyway, let's talk. The manga reviews are never long. So, this is the first chapter of Astro Royale. As the story opens up with a news report about a meteor coming to Earth. You know, they see, they see like a shooting star. So, talk about how, what wishes people will make. I just realized my headphones are Sony, and I have a Sony PlayStation. <laughs> I didn't even know there was Sony but headphones, honest. You know, headphones, I should buy the pair just to be safe. You know, just to make sure. Do we will back up where I can buy two? Anyway. Was that introduced to our protagonist, Hibaro? Yotsugura, I think it was. He's a delinquent. But not a jerk. You know, he just is like a delinquent, but... Well... He's actually a kind person. So he's here to collect some... Um, protection fee for an old man. But what... You think that's scummy, but no, it's not actually for getting money. Basically, as his brother points out, Terasu, as his brother Terasu, so like, he's more like he's shopping. Anyway, today's the dance bureau. Kogo, I would ask his name, I just called him up now. I just get to learn bit things that. Anyway. Before I go on, tell Master Comments, is he really going to wear that outfit to the funeral? Ibaro says that it's all his dad's legacy. As we get, as we get information about the, his dad. No, wait. Let me hear the view. Oh, they meet one of the other. We are not, not one of their brothers. I think his name was Ko. So, yeah, you can see where the story is going. Basically, he has a lot of siblings, but in this, he's only the bio he's the only biological son of his dad. I'll get there. So you can see where this is going. Hence the name Astro Royale. <clears throat> so it's going to be like a sibling versus sibling type of rivalry. So it looks like for the first arc, it's going to be sibling versus sibling. At least that's what I suggest for the first arc. You know that um, he always going to face each one of his brothers. Minus Tarasu, who is this other? But anyway, Cole is a bit of a jerk. Tarasu actually manages it, but they'll say he's basically nobody. Anyway, it's time for a funeral. People just don't really care <coughs> what an organization or they want. A no personal gain. As Hibaru gives a speech. It was much that he's the only one who kind of was dead sad. Who do you think? Who do you think the next uh, Of course, so far the only one who could put a hat in the win to me to become the next head of the family is Shio, the oldest. The oldest of Dr. Sipper, that is. They wonder, a lot of people wonder if uh, Hibaru is going to put his hat in the as well. Since he is the biological son of Kogo. But, we'll see. Hey, Hibaru gives a speech. And then, 
about how his dad was creating this organization and stuff. Anyway, <sighs> he names the name, he names the successor that his dad mentioned. His name is Tarasu. Even Tarasu is shot by that. Because you think he wasn't there, but I'll get to that in a bit. Everyone's definitely not happy about this. I spoke to Rasu and Himaru have pendants. Himaru has uh, something that looks like a bullet, while Tarasu has something that looks like a, looks as a round pendant. Those are important. I also get a bit of a flashback. Himaru talks about his father. He ran, all, he ran a type of Yakuza, but he was more of a helping Yakuza. He helped people. He didn't do anything illegal, so the police couldn't do anything about it. He also always had to help people. So basically, we were respecting him. He never mind his dad. Togo gave him all some advice. Sure, being a strong leader is good and all, but what you must have is a chivalrous heart to those that help people that cannot help themselves. So now I yell him out. That's where his go. Eventually, his father, well, ill. He borrowed and Terasu came to see him as well, final moments. Yes, he's gonna. Yes, he's a bit now. That. So Terasu was there. Yeah, yeah, he was shocked. There's a reason for that. As actually, Kogo named he borrowed the successor. And that Terasu would be his right hand man. Helping him run the way. He to us are not just brothers, they feel like best friends. Which is a really cool, I love super dynamic, dynamics and stories. Because, again, you don't, because a lot of Shadow Manga have, you know, sibling troubles. Sorry, I don't like it too, yeah, for no reason. You know, sibling dynamics are pretty cool. It just shows that you don't have to need to argue with sibling all the damn time. I'm just saying, I like those stories, but emphasis on that. <sighs> anyway, this is more good series that had great popularity. You'll definitely see that you had played a lot of merchandise to go with it. But, problem is, he also says the only reason it got cancelled. It's custody of uh, who did some his undefinable acts. I don't know if he had CP or actually raped someone. I can't remember exactly because the author of Rory Ketchum had CP, but he still continued the manga years later and jumped square for the whole Kaido arc. <clears throat> yeah, that's just look it up. But if you just look at the video of the manga, I can't remember what it was called, but. Just look at the Shonen Jump series of the twenty of the two thousands of twenty tens, yeah, twenty tens. Then you understand. I think it begin with an A. It's about a, a girl who wants to be a good actor. Anyway, Raw Kogo Pass. He gave the, those pendants. The bullet represents the spear. So all head the place, a shield, and the round pendant symbolizes a shield made by the same bullet. Since Kogo likes to use his fist is like a bullet. Basically, it's go, go, bullet! <laughs> Sorry. So, yeah. That symbolizes how he must protect Ibaro. They must ensure this world will be a great place. After that, flashback's over. Tomasi questions why Ibaro did lie about, the about him being the successor. He always says that he doesn't feel like he's ready. He, he wants to unite the people and be a great Yakuza, but like his dad, as it a good guy. Yeah. He wants to. I mean, basically, he's worried that if he becomes head, since he's a screw up and stuff, then the, get, 
then <coughs> the Gans, the um, Gans was split in a way. I bet it was again. Nations or something? I don't know. Basically, the part of the whole group together was split. So that's why Tarasu, you know, Tarasu was the line about Tarasu being the head. Because he's more, he hasn't been a screw up. He's done more, he's done more for his good bins. After that, man up says the meteor's coming down. Basically, Tarasu, Hibaru actually forgot about the meteor that's coming down. We'll see it, but as Ebal makes his wish, Meteor starts coming towards Earth, coming down more as it crashes, causing Hibaru and Tarasa to be blown away. Tarasa protecting Hibaru, who pushes him out the way of a fallen building, seemingly, seemingly like it crushed him. That really made Hibaru upset, but he hears a voice, actually got him power. As he as his, he is his dad. That that gives Tarasu a power. I mean, he borrows. Sorry, that gives he borrows power. Causes his fist to transform. Like a bullet, he's like a duck bullet. Like a his fist is like a bullet, as he just pushes, knocks back the building, and he borrows. Tarasu is actually alive. Imagine, imagine he ends up in a hole. So he's lucky. It's weird. I'm not, I'm not sure what happened. But when you take a closer look at the session, see that it's not the they're not the only ones. A lot of it sees black fins going around. <clears throat> as that day the fins changed, as we see more people was gained a similar type of power but different parts of their bodies. And this is not going to be a simple battle. This is going to be a battle against all kinds of people. So. As the chapter comes to end, when he but who passes out, what does the series have in store for them? Wait till tomorrow to find out. Yeah, this is a little longer because I'm going to talk about some stuff. But yeah, it's important content that the author took your regions behind this series. So if you actually are a fan of his work, by the way, a lot of people hated the final arc. I don't get why, because I don't read the manga, so I don't want to. But I want to watch the anime first. Then once I do it, I'll read the manga. So don't spoil that for me. So if you're interested to see read the series, read it on Manga Plus or the Shonen Jump app. Either way, your decision. I sure will get an official volume release sometime in the future if it is proved popular, like Kagurabachi. Yet yeah, is getting its first Western release of its first volume later this year in November 2024. Yes, this November. So be sure, be sure to pre-order that manga, pre-order it now. And maybe I'll try to try and catch up on that series. Because I haven't been really catching up on that. That's why I learned to re reset the story and keep it realist. Also, Two on Ice and Shadow of the Rings have been cancelled. So if I did a reveal Two on Ice, I'm going to have to delete that. Also, delete my reviews on Mama Yu Yu since that got cancelled. Sad. That succeed. That did not succeed, even though it's better news exorcist than what I had. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoy my content, please subscribe. If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. If you are dealing with this content future, I, I may later check out Kaiju Number Eight, Episode Two. The open is now on YouTube. Not yet listened to it. Make sure you also go to Fairy Episode Three is tomorrow. Along with an episode, new episode, but but uh, pre kill. And Google Loser Rangers next episode is tomorrow as well. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow, hopefully for chapter two. Hopefully. Um Kaiser jump out. I can get another name, I just can't pick up a good one.